good afternoon everyone my topic is study of clinical profile and outcome in patient with a snake bites i am not able to move this okay uh, aims and objective to study the clinical and laboratory profile following the snake bite to do an observational study of an average number of vials of anti snake venom required for the treatment of the poison snake bite to aid in prompt diagnosis and effective management in the snake bite to study the outcome and complication following the snake bite method 50 cases of the snake bite were taken in this study who were admitted importance was given to the site of bite and regards to the local pain and its nature time of onset and severity local swelling its nature time of onset and severity discoloration of the skin bleeding from the bite and to the bleeding tendency nausea vomiting cold limb oliguria giddiness headache and cns features general local and systemic examinations were done lab diagnosis like lft cbc create btct ptinr urine analysis wbct was used inclusion criteria all ages more than 14 years patient belonging to either sex patient with the history of snake bite having noticed the offending snake patient with doubtful history of the snake bite but has a definite acute onset of signs and symptoms of a local or systemic evenomation without any other causes for the same definite fang marks were noted and attendants have seen the offending snakes exclusion criteria pediatric cases aged less than 14 years were excluded by due to other poisonous creature doubtful cases of the snake bite where there is no definite history of acute onset of signs and symptoms of evenomation are excluded from the study incidence of snake bite the incidence is more in the age group of 21 to 30 years which is belonging to approximately 32% of the total uh, followed by age group of uh, 11 to 20 years incidence is more in male about 62% of total cases belonging to male incidence is more during the day time during the 8 am to 8 pm total 56% of cases monthly incidence the incidence is more during the uh, monsoon season which is june to october incidence of the non poisonous snake bites are more common uh, than the poisonous snake bite about 52% of the total cases are non poisonous incidence of different type of snake bite there are two or usually three types vascular toxic neurotoxic and mix about among which the vascular toxic snake bite are more common uh, there are uh, more uh, bite in the lower limb about 48% the local manifestation are local pain swelling and discoloration among which the local pain is more common uh, incidence of the bleeding manifestation is present in about uh, is absent in about 70% of the cases uh, neurological manifestations are ptosis difficulty in swallowing and difficulty in speech among which the ptosis is present in all 100% cases of the neurological snake bite in uh, other symptoms were headache giddiness nausea vomiting perspiration and breathlessness nausea and vomiting are more common uh, number of patient who received the anti snake venom uh, total 52 uh, six, uh, 26 cases were given the anti snake venom and uh, 24 cases were not given anti snake venom Uh, number of anti snake venom given to the patient in his outcome uh, usually there are improve uh, uh, all patients who has given the anti snake venom were improve except one patient uh, three patient required to uh, put on the mechanical ventilation invasive ventilation among which the two patient improve and one patient is expired incident of other complication bleeding complication respiratory failure renal failure cellulitis abscess gangrene and shock among which the bleeding complication and renal failure are more common uh, prognosis of patient uh, among the all patient 99 patient of the percentage of the patient improved only one patient is expired summary and conclusion the incidence of the snake bite were more common in 21 to 30 years of age uh, person as compared to the extreme of the age however age is not age was not a bar of the snake bite males are more common affected than the female in the ratio of 1.64 ratio 1 the incidence of the daytime bite were more common compared to the night time the incidence of the snake bite was more during the monsoon month during the june to october lower limb was the most common site of the bite as compared to the upper limb among the 53% of the cases there is lower limb bite 
the incidence of the non poisonous snake bite were more common 52% compared to the poisonous bite local pain and swelling were more common local manifestation hematological manifestation were noted in 29% of the cases local bleeding was noted in 100% cases of the vascular toxic bite neurological manifestation were noted in 19% of the cases ptosis was noted in 100% cases of the neurotoxic bite headache giddiness vomiting were minor manifestation whole blood clotting time were more than 20 minutes in all patient of the vascular toxic bite anti snake venom was given in 52% of the patient and no hypersensitivity reaction was noted in any of the patient bleeding complication and renal failure were observed in 6% of the cases respiratory failure was observed in 5% of the cases cellulitis abscess gangrene and shock were observed only in 2 to 3% of the cases that was observed in only 1% of the one patient of the snake bite respiratory paralysis was the main cause of the death uh, here are the references of the okay. paper thank you